I understand your question. Yes, I, I believe I did read the tweet. And it's the same on the one above it on May 12, 2018, now in Mr. Williams number 72. You see it says OTF gang with a capital G, same type of format? I do. Okay. And you realize that OTF is a record label? Uh, among other things, yes. Okay. No! And I never change. I'm never gonna go get the grain. I'm never gonna be the one turn on my brother when police has got it to take. Man, what's going on with it? What it do? Why they sending your boy Gunner up like that there? Well, a while back, Dirk did tell us he was signed to the streets. And in the streets, ratting is the number one rule of misconduct. And right about now, Gunner feeling all this firsthand in real time. While Thug behind bars fighting the toughest battle of his life, your boy Gunner out here living his best one. You hear me? And for a hot second, it was looking like that little statement he made was gonna get swept under the rug. But as it appears, Thugger Thugger name still hold weight in these streets. And the man got a lot of loyalty within the hip hop community. There's like three people that are running the game with you. Got baby, it's not including like thugs in the future. Yeah, them boys got love for thugs. Pay hey, this nigga to goddamn stay out of the streets. Nigga, you can have my money. Just relax. I really have sacrificed anything because I see that it can happen. Young thug really, literally, like, paid me to leave the neighborhood. Like, bro, you can rap me, got him, tell me, like, you could be next, bro. You got to leave the hood. Sound like Thug seen something in Baby that he ain't even seen in himself at the time. And he changed that man's life, so it's only right to show the world where his loyalty at. Yeah, he done followed that man for his bogus activities, but Gunner still followed him like a deer in the headlight. So Dirk seen him flat-footed and seen his opportunity and hit him with the ay 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 you can And Lil Dirk, he said Future and Young Thug, his big bros in the game, so you know how he coming about them too. Hey Dirk, I know I want you on, I'm dropping this. I'm dropping this um <clears throat> this 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 um surprise album on the same day that same day Buddy dropped his album. That shit coming up soon. I need a verse from you. If you if you feel like replying, if you feel like you want to reply to what that nigga saying or something, man, don't 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 do it. Let it, drop it on my album. I'm dropping a, a surprise album on the same day that fuck nigga dropped. <clears throat> Send your verse in, bro. I want you and Wham on the same song. Send your verse in. Thank you, Dumbass. Love, I love you, bro. Now this is the second time that Dirk done heard his name or brand associated with a Rico. When y'all slide in here, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Now the goal on these videos is for everybody to hit that like button until they get finger burns. Hey, check it out. So Young Thug Lawyer cross-examining the gang expert on trial. Now he showed him a tweet of Young Thug tweeting, OTF gang. Basically trying to make the argument that just because it has the word gang behind it, doesn't necessarily mean it's a street gang criminal organization. So then he asked the gang expert, so you realize OTF is a record label? And the gang expert said, amongst other things, yes, implying that OTF might be a gang also. And we'll just start at the bottom one just for ease of the person viewing the screen. And that is the post that is in uh, State's Exhibit number 42W. Fair to say? Yes, it does. All right. And then above it, if Mr. Kokomo can scroll up, the next one is also uh, Mr. Williams' purported Twitter account. You notice that? I do. And it is May 12, 2018. Fair to say? It is. And OTF, you see the gang? Yes. And if Mr. Kokomo can just raise, no, the other way, if you don't mind. Okay, so now he has um, also May 12, 2018. You see how what you did with the state, YSL gang, capital G, Jonesboro, South gang, capital G, you see all that? I'm not sure what you're referring to as far as what I did with the state. Then you testified. When you introduced, when you helped introduce Exhibit 42W. You mean when I read the tweet? Yes. Uh, yeah, to the extent I understand your question, yes, I, I believe I did read the tweet. And it's the same on the one above it on May 12, 2018, now in Mr. Williams number 72. You see it says OTF gang with a capital G, same type of format? I do. Okay. And you realize that OTF is a record label? Uh, among other things, yes. Okay. Above it? See, same date, Mr. Williams' purported Twitter account, you see that? 
I do. May 12, 2018, right? Yes. And again, it has um, ASAP Gang with the capital G. You see that? I do. And Yams, Y-A-M-S, capital, uh, or Gang, capital G with two exclamation points. You see that? Yes. Okay, and do you know who ASAP Rocky is? I do. And that person is a rapper and a label, fair to say? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, States Exhibit number 43W, if that's okay. Mr. Atkins, if you can help. Looking at the tweet that says OTF Gang, um, when you were asked if that was a, if you knew this was a record label, you responded among other things. Do you recall that? I do. Why did you respond in that way? Um, they've also been investigated for uh, potential violations of the Street Gang Act. And that's crazy, because Dirk just let the world know that he was fully aware of the people that was name dropping him in the FBG duck trial, and that new snippet he dropped fucking up the net. I'm a different type of nigga, 100,000 on my coochie sweats. I lost 10 years, niggas, 10 years ago, don't know who next. Gone too early, just picture on my phone with a little accent, who is that? Say my name and move out trial, I'ma let y'all know y'all fool for that. Now they down in Atlanta, name dropping OTF in the same sentence as a gang. One could imagine, gang like, damn. I can't win for losing. But in the same token, he done heard this so many times. Lil Dirk probably ain't got eye water to cry with. Y'all know how that saying go. All publicity is good publicity. But not in the court of a RICO trial. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Somebody out here burning candles on your boy. It seem like the more success he get, the fans want his past to catch up with him even more. Or either the fans want him to crash out so they can say, damn, me a real nigga. But keep it real, who's trying to be in the real nigga Hall of Fame? Meanwhile, young thug supporters still feel it's a glimmer of hope and can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And hoping Miss Fanny Willis is a conflict of interest in the Trump case. After finally opening up about a relationship with Nathan Wade, who was Nathan Wade, a prosecutor on the Trump case? And he tells me how much it is, and I give him the money back. I don't, just like you're asking me about the money with Robin, I don't do my friends like that. So if you tell me it's a G, then you're going to get $1,000. Whatever it is, I didn't ever make him produce receipts to me. Whatever he told me it was, I gave him the money back. I know the average listener probably like, oh, okay, drill, finally getting drilled. Well, what that got to do with Thug and this trial? They saying the reason Fanny even brought up these charges is because she was in a romantic relationship with Nut. Pause. Honest, what I've heard about you, and this is what the buzzing word is around land. I've heard it from about eight to nine different people. Fanny Willis, they're saying that you had a, and, and I'm, I'm going to keep it, I'm, I know I'm a big personality in music now, so like, I'm gonna, I know it's going to go around. I'm going to keep it light. What is being accused is that the reason you have a hard on for not only YSL, but this particular case where Donovan Nut Thomas was killed, which is a heart of the YSL case. This is what I, I've heard. Legend. They believe that you had a prior relationship with Donovan Nut Thomas. And I believe relationship. Just when you thought this YSL trial couldn't get any crazier. YSL defense attorney Nicole Fagan has been arrested on gang charges. If you ask me, they are messier than a toddler with a box of crayons. But let me know what y'all think in the comments and don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, subscribe. Tap that notification bell so I can keep you updated. They said throw the whole trial away. But until next time, I catch you in that video up top. Drill Time TV, I'm out.